Hey everybody, my name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a little let's play. I want to go ahead and upgrade Blather's tent to an actual museum so I have a bunch of fish to go ahead and donate to him. I decided to upgrade his tent to a museum for tea light because I think the exterior of the upgraded museum would end up looking better and fitting my overall island aesthetic. But let's go ahead and go in and talk to Blathers and donate some of these creatures. So since Blathers does talk a lot when you are donating these first creatures to him, I am going to just go ahead and speed up this footage. Um, so in the beginning you need to go ahead and donate him 15 different creatures. So as you can see right here he is giving me the bolting pool recipe which I already had. But now he will go ahead and get to the part where he lets us make a donation. So I'm going to just go ahead and donate all of these fish and tell him that I am a bit busy because I don't want to hear any of the explanations about the fish. It does kind of make me feel a little bit bad for Blathers because I'm sure not very many people ask him to hear the explanation or the history behind the different bugs and fishes, but at the beginning of the game you kind of just want to, at least for me because this is like my third or fourth island, I kind of just want to speed through everything so I can get to terraforming because I've, I know I've mentioned that before, terraforming is my favorite part of Animal Crossing and decorating as well. So we are almost done giving him creatures. Unfortunately, I think the last couple creatures I have, I've already donated to him. So I am actually gonna go ahead and get some more right now. So Blather said that I need to go ahead and donate three more creatures. I guess I may have already donated some of the ones that I had in my pocket. So now what I'm going to do is just run back to my house and get a fishing rod and a net and then we will go ahead and look for three more creatures to donate to Blathers. I'm also just going to go ahead and grab a goldfish. I don't necessarily want to donate the goldfish because I really like how it looks when it is placed um, just as kind of like an item, but I'm going to grab that anyway and then here I'm just grabbing the net and golden rod and then we will try and find some creatures and my island right now is just a hot mess. I have a bunch of stunted trees everywhere, but it's okay. I'm really liking the progress that I'm making so far actually. So let's go ahead and catch this little butterfly and then let's see if we can find any other ones. I'm not sure if I've already donated a yellow butterfly. Okay, wait, can I catch this? There we go. All right, I finally got this little yellow butterfly. And then also we are going to go ahead and run past this house right there. It's Chevra's house. It is so cute. I love the little pink door. And then this little waterway right here, I did a speed build on. I'll link that above if you're interested in watching. But now I'm going to go ahead and try and catch some fish. So I think this was actually my first time fishing on my new island, Tea Light. So I did do a fishing video. Um, it's kind of centered around the fishing tournament. If you're interested in watching that, I just try to give some helpful tips for fishing. But basically what I try to do is make sure I'm casting the line like directly in front of the fish. And then you'll hear kind of like a little plop sound and that is when you should press the A button to catch the fish. Um, it also can help if you play with the sound on but then don't look at your screen and you just wait for that little like kerplunk sound. That will, I don't know, that just helps me um, to not get like tricked because sometimes it looks like the fish is going after your bobber but it doesn't. But anyways, I just needed to clean up those weeds right there because weeds really really bother me but I'm going to go ahead and try and catch this little fish right here. I sometimes find that the smaller fish can be a little bit harder to catch, but this one we're getting lucky with. So let's go ahead and see what type of fish we are going to go ahead and catch here. See, these little fish are kind of tricky to catch, but I finally got it. Oh, and it looks like we have a little clownfish. So we got a little Nemo. So I think I should have enough new creatures now that I can go ahead and go back to Blathers and talk to him. Just gonna pick up some of these weeds right here because once again, I dislike weeds so much. I'm also not planning on keeping my museum where it is at right now. 
I have kind of a build idea for it, so if you are interested in seeing a speed build for that, please let me know in the comments below. But let's just make sure that I have enough creatures. Actually, I want to see what is in this pond right here because it might be a goldfish. Like I said earlier, I really like goldfish and I know that they spawn in little ponds. And this fish just wants to be so difficult. Like why? Every time I move to where it's at, it just, it moves the other way. See? Like what is that? Like why does this fish have to be so bogus to me? And again, like, wh like where can I go to please this fish? Okay. Yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm trying at this point. But I am committed to catching this fish. Like I've spent way too much time trying to get it. Okay, here we go. Let's pray that it's a goldfish. Come on, little fishy. I want it to be a goldfish. And we caught it, and let's see what it is. Oh, okay, so it's not even a goldfish. Wonderful. Well, that was kind of lame, but now let's go ahead and talk to Blathers. I also think it would be really cool if like that desk in the background or like those pens or pencils would be an item in Animal Crossing. I just think it would be so cute to be able to put like a little pen on the table or even that like stack of books and that customization and that size back there is really really cute. So now we are just going to go ahead and donate the last three creatures to Blathers and then we will get our museum upgraded trying to think I so I didn't have an upgraded museum on my last island but the island before that I had one I did like a big land bridge speed build up to my museum that was Wildwood I can link the tour I did for Wildwood in the card above but let's go ahead and I think we are on the last creature right now so we will go ahead and donate the sturgeon fish to him and then tell him no I'm a bit busy blathers Okay, so now Blathers will be telling us that we have enough donations to open the museum. So the next step is to go ahead and come out of the museum. And then what we're going to do is just time travel to the next day. So now we are at the morning announcements after time traveling to the next day and Isabel is letting us know that the construction will start on the museum. So if you didn't know, it does take two days for the museum to fully upgrade. So I will go ahead and show you what happens when you time travel to the next day. Let's just go ahead and go up here. And as you can kind of already see the big kind of construction tent around the museum is right here so we got that and now I'm gonna just go ahead and skip to tomorrow so we can see the fully upgraded museum so here we are at the announcements so Isabel should be telling us that we have opened the museum so it is 6 a.m. on Monday June 28th so here she is telling us that the museum is finally open I'm actually really excited to have the museum on my island because on my last island wildflower as you know i did not have it fully upgraded so i'm excited to go ahead and donate some creatures bugs and fossils to blathers so now what i'm going to do is just go ahead and run up and see our completed museum all right so i want to go ahead and see the inside of the museum i actually haven't like explored the museum on any of my islands for quite some time now so i'm really excited to do that and of course we just go ahead and wake up lathers and he will tell us that the museum has opened and telling us that our donations made it possible and then he just kind of explains where all of the exhibits are so the fossil exhibit is downstairs the bugs are to the left and the fish are to the right i haven't donated any fossils but i do want to go ahead and explore the bug exhibit like i said i haven't visited a museum on one of my islands for a while but as I'm walking through here, this kind of design, I don't know if you've ever played Pocket Camp, but it kind of reminds me of that same kind of feature. And I really like how they just have like the butterflies flying around in here. And I kind of wish like some of our island looked like this. It's really, really pretty in these like bridges that lead up to inclines. I just love the layout of the museum. It's really, really beautiful and these like huge trees. I know like there's supposed to be, I think like an atlas moth that goes there. 
or no wait it's right on that tree so I'm not sure what big bug is supposed to go on that big tree but either way it's really pretty so now I want to go ahead and explore the other side of the museum which will be the fish so let's go ahead and see what creatures we can find in here I really really like how they have like the plants in the water down there it reminds me of a museum by my house so here's one of the creatures I donated. I think that's like an owl, owl pharmacist or something. I don't know the name, but it's really, really big and it's really cool. I like the red colors on it. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and continue on this way. And I really, really like this shark exhibit down here. It's just so cool and I like all the lighting and the different colors and they have like three big fish in there, two sharks and the oarfish. fish I think the other one is. So I'm going to just go ahead and see what is down here. Oh wow, okay. I, I don't remember the names of these but look at how beautiful that is. Like New Horizons is just so creative and like interactive with the certain like buildings that they've put into the game. Like. I don't know, I feel like a lot of these things people don't go and explore a lot, so that's just kind of what I wanted to do in this video, is just hang out in the museum and check out all of the different creatures I have. And like I said, I will be donating a lot more and maybe we can kind of do like a follow-up video on this to like see my progress for the museum. Um, if that's something you would like to watch, please let me know below in the comment section. So now I'm gonna just go ahead back over to the bug exhibit and find a little place to sit down. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and find that little bench that is on the other side of these waterfalls. I did accidentally take the long way to get around here, but that's okay. We can enjoy the beautiful scenery of the museum. Alrighty, so here is the little bench I wanted to sit on. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching this video and spending some time to hang out with me for this let's play if you like this video please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and leaving a like on the video but other than that i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye